So I actually swam before I walked. As a very small baby, my mom threw me in the water with her and you know, I'd swim around. So I always remember the feeling of going underwater. I love coaching. I am the only female coach here. I think it's important because half of the team is female and I'm kind of like the mom of the group. And so I work a lot with them and they'll come into my office and say hi and um, tell me how the day is. And I like that. You know, it's the more personal side to the coaching. And if they have a headache, they want Tylenol. So I kind of take on that role. So um, I enjoy it. It's fun. I think if there was one thing that you know I wish for in my life that Stasiana sort of embodies is she loves what she does. Um, and I love swimming, but I'm not gonna be swimming for the rest of my life. And she's just very real about it. And uh, I hope that I can do the same thing with whatever I put my energy into. I want a hundred kids. I want infinity better. I want 50. But I want infinity. You know, I remember Renee asking me, you know, I want to take swimming lessons and I heard someone, you know, that is, I think her name was just Tiziana. I wasn't even sure, but I heard about her. And uh, why don't we go into the internet? And guess what? She has alopecia. And she asked me, what kind of alopecia she has? So I think she has alopecia areata, like you. Um, I think having alopecia Ariata for me, not having hair. I've had to definitely make concessions for feeling more female. Because all the time I'll get people like mistaking me for a guy. Like if I don't wear makeup or I don't wear earrings, I look tired, and they'll they'll say, Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. And it's like, eh, it's fine. <laughs> I developed alopecia areata when I was 12 years old. And prior to that I had a full head of hair. Um, but basically I was standing in front of a mirror one night brushing my hair and cleaning out the brush and I noticed there was a lot of hair in the trash can and I was really frightened so I went to my mom and said you know I, I think I'm dying <laughs> something's wrong um, she took me to the doctors and all the doctors said you know you have this condition alopecia areata but you're fine you know you're, you're not dying and I thought like how am I fine? You know, I, I can't go to school like this. It's like, I'm scared. And emotionally, I wasn't okay. Um, so for about a year, I wore hats, but I didn't stop swimming. And for me, I loved swimming and I didn't wear wigs because I thought it'd be silly. You know, I'm swimming down the pool and my wig's floating away. I'm like, no, that's stupid. So I basically kept swimming and my friends at the pool said, you know, cool. Like, that's great. <laughs> You're going to be faster. And it was like, yeah. athlete side of me I probably will never lose even though I'm not really competing 
um, but it it basically made me who I am. The coaching is something that's kind of ongoing, and I, I feel like I'm always learning, but they don't really define me, you know, and I think my family probably defines me more. Um, and I probably get the most out of it where, like, my husband will check me, you know, he'll, I'll be thinking, 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 and he'll say, wait, wait, come back, you know, let me, <laughs> um, I like that, I like having that balance, um, because I think that's so important, and the, the family probably brings me the most joy, you know, I, I know I can always depend on my husband and my dogs to be happy to see me, and, um, that's, that's so exciting, you know, and I, that's probably why it would be technically the most important, um, because it's the easiest out of the three to do, because it's so natural. It, uh, it's my wife who inspires me, um, does so for others, and it uh, definitely uh, it puts something to that, that uh, she affects a lot of people in this world, and affects me in my daily life, and uh, it, I'm happy. I'm overwhelmed with joy. Yeah, some people like make fun of me a lot. I just laugh at because they laugh at me, I just laugh. My fears. Well, we were at a restaurant and there was a group of girls behind us. This was making fun of me, but my back was to them. I couldn't see them. And my friend across from me was looking at them. She got so angry. She said, I want to beat them up. I'm going to go. I'm going to go start a fight. And I said, no, don't do that. I'm like, just let me, let me handle it. And so we kept eating. And when we finished, I walked over to the table as we were leaving. And I asked the girl that they had pointed out. And I said, do you have a brush I could borrow? And she s looked at me like, what? <laughs> and she was so confused. And it was my way of kind of telling her, you know, be nicer. Well, I mostly know a lot of songs. I know two. One's called I'm Flying and another's called Never Never Land. I know a place where dreams are born and time is never planned. It's not on any chart. You must find it with your heart. Never, never land. Seeing someone uh, as a role model, I'm pretty sure, believe me, it makes life easier. And there's not too many role models. You need to really, you know, find them to just ignore, you know, there's nobody that can do something good in life, you know. I'm telling you, I, I never met Susiana, and she never met it. Just the fact that we saw her on the internet, <laughs> knowing what she does, it mo motivates her. There's something going on there, so, and if it's good for her, you know, what else? You know, we keep it going, you know, showing her that she can be one day like her. It's like, it's like, it's like if the bubbles were spirits, and then you just run through them. Yeah. Oh, whoa. <laughs> like, excited. I think she accomplished good. She seems better than good. She seems really, really, really good. So now I don't know what to do. How am I need her?
When I became comfortable with myself, the world became comfortable with me. I would put on like just a little bit, but not a lot because I don't, I don't really like it, but just enough. It's going to say that I'm smooth. I'm good. <laughs> I'm not comfortable on camera. You're not let, I'm not comfortable on camera. You're saying the baby. She's the baby. Look, I can still see that sign. If we don't pass that sign in a second, I'm gonna kill that guy in front. Oh, no. Are you sure? Are you serious? Yeah. This is not about here. We're talking about what you have in here, what you have in here. <laughs> 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 <laughs>